hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to transform your pair of old raggedy jeans into a denim skirt so i've had this particular pair of jeans for i think three and a half years now and they have this weird rip at the knee they don't fit quite right and i genuinely never wear them unless i'm running errands and i don't want anyone to see me so i thought it was time to transform them into something i could actually wear and be proud of and i ended up making this denim skirt which i think turned out uber uber cute and other than the fact that my jeans were a bit old and hence my skirt looks a bit old and worn in which is actually something I really like other than that I think they look fab and you can turn any pair of jeans into a skirt so if you want to do that let's get right into it first things first I'm just folding my jeans in half and taking note of the rip that way I can draw a straight line across using my piece of chalk and cut that bit of fabric off this will help us have a short kind of situation which is easier to work with rather than working with the whole pants as an entity once you've cut your fabric off, you're going to have some Bermuda shorts. You can make them into some sexy boy shorts. But today we're making a skirt. So all I'm doing is I'm cutting along the seam using my pair of scissors. I also used my seam ripper to unravel some of the fabric, which I was scared would just rip off. And initially I was going to do the whole overlapping and then adding a bit of fabric situation to make a denim skirt, which there's plenty of tutorials here on YouTube. But my fabric between the legs was so worn out that I couldn't salvage it. So I ended up having to seam rip all the way to the bottom of the place that holds the zip, as you can see me doing here. I also seam ripped the back seam and I just made sure I ripped it up until the fabric could lay flat on top of each other. Now I'm just cutting off that worn out seam that has clearly seen years and years of torture and now she's gone, she's done her service, she's out the door. And then I turned my skirt inside out and as you can see I have my zipper holder on your right, you're watching this, it's on your right. And I'm just aligning the seams, that way everything is nice and even. And we're going to sew down the sides, that way we have a complete skirt. So this is a different technique. And I do recommend that your jeans be baggy, because if you do this with a pair of skinny jeans, you're not going to have any room to walk about in your skirt. So I do recommend use a pair of baggy jeans for this. And once everything was nice and aligned, I just took my ruler and I drew a straight line down on both sides. Using this lines as guidelines, I just pinned my fabric together that way it would not move about as I was sewing because that's never a good deal. You really want to stick to the lines here because where you sew is going to be the front and back of your skirt and you definitely don't want this to tighten on you. So heading over to the sewing machine, I'm just using a zigzag stitch to sew all the way down on both sides. actually ended up having to do two rows of stitches mostly because I did not want this just splitting open and exposing my business to the whole world so I decided I'd go in with two rows of stitches totally optional and as long as your stitches are firm you're not going to have a problem you can also do a straight stitch because this is denim you don't need to have room for stretch unless your jeans are tight to begin with from the very start once everything was nice and sewn I just cut off the bit of excess fabric and we have our skirt so now the last and final step is to make this super short I really like mini skirts and if you want your skirt a bit longer you can leave it as a pencil skirt it's totally up to you it's your DIY customize it to how you like it and all I did was I marked off 15 inches because that's how long I wanted my skirt to be. Draw a straight line across using a piece of chalk, using my ruler as well because I am terrible at drawing straight lines freehand. And once that was done, I just took my pair of scissors and cut off the excess fabric at the bottom. 
So I didn't show it in this video, but I also took in the waist using Ruth Wendy's tutorial. She explains it so much better than I do, so I'm going to link her video down below in case you need to take in the waist of your jeans. But yeah, that is it for your skirt. The more you wash this, the more it's going to fray at the bottom. And if you don't want a frayed hem, you can just hem this up and you'll be good to go. I really love how this turned out. And I think it's a super fun way to revamp jeans in your closet into something you can wear more of, especially if you don't wear the jeans a lot. And it's sustainable. It's good for the environment. It saves you money. And I really love refashioning things. And I hope you do too, because it's just such a good and beautiful thing thing to do you should therefore definitely consider it and i have plenty of videos for you to revamp your closet into a whole new closet so definitely check those videos out but sadly that's all i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching hopefully i catch you in my next video but until then stay safe be awesome and rock the world see you next time bye guys